Let's talk about IRAs, a brief overview into tax advantage retirement accounts. Understanding the IRAs. There are two phases to IRAs, the saving phase during working years and the distribution phase that usually happens upon retirement. There are two types of IRAs, traditional IRA and Roth IRA. Traditional IRAs may allow a tax deduction unless your income is too high and distributions are generally taxable when withdrawn. Roth IRAs do not permit a tax deduction and contributions are limited for higher income taxpayers. Qualified Roth distributions are not taxable if they have met a five-year age requirement and are made after the owner is 59 and a half, disabled or deceased. Lower income taxpayers can benefit from the Savers Credit pay it for up to $1,000 towards a taxpayer's contribution to either traditional or Roth IRA. Unless qualified for an exception, taxable withdrawals from an IRA before reaching age 59 and a half are subject to 10% early withdrawal penalty. Once a traditional IRA owner reaches the age 72, they must begin taking required minimum distributions, RMDs, each year from their account. Fair to do so would lead to a penalty of 50% of the amount that should have been withdrawn. The RMD requirement does not apply to the owner of the Roth IRA. The beneficiaries of a decedent's IRA must generally take a full distribution from the IRA within 10 years. This rule does not apply to the decedent's spouse who has the option of rolling the IRA into their own IRA and not having to take the distribution until age 72. Disabled or chronically ill heirs or beneficiaries not more than 10 years younger than the decedent can choose between a lifetime distribution or the 10-year option. Minor children of the decedent must use the 10-year rule, but need not begin the distributions until reaching the age of majority. These rules can be complicated. Please call Accounting Management Solutions for any assistance in this matter.